Looking for a dose of 1988 nostalgia? Enter the world of a blue-collar family in the heart of Illinois with the TV series Roseanne. This sitcom promises a roller coaster ride of emotions with its mix of funny, shocking, and sad moments. From everyday struggles to unexpected twists, there's never a dull moment in the Connor household. Who was your favorite character in this down-to-earth comedy? With a cast full of memorable personalities, picking just one might be tough. And let's not forget the classic Hollywood actor who brings his own charm to the screen. As you dive into the world of Roseanne, get ready to laugh, gasp, and maybe even shed a tear. Share your cherished memories and personal experiences with us in the comments below. We can't wait to hear your stories. Stay tuned for more interesting facts and anecdotes about this beloved series. There's plenty more where that came from, so keep watching. The return of a beloved television series has sparked a range of reactions among viewers. Some feel its humor and style are outdated, while others appreciate its attempt to tackle present day issues. However, the incorporation of politics feels forced and takes away from the original focus on the daily struggles of an American family. Certain characters and storylines seem gimmicky rather than genuine. Looking back at the original series, it's clear that it held a special place in many viewers' hearts. It offered a unique perspective on American life through the experiences of one family, portraying the challenges of the lower middle class with honesty and humor. Despite early criticisms, the main actor's portrayal evolved over time with guidance from more experienced cast members. Throughout its run, the series addressed serious topics with sensitivity, though its later seasons saw a decline in quality. Nevertheless, it remained beloved for its strong performances and well-developed characters. The relationship between the main character and her sister was a highlight as they navigated adulthood while dealing with their dysfunctional upbringing. While the revival aimed to recapture the essence of the original series, its sudden cancellation and subsequent rebranding highlight the complexities of modern television production. Despite this, the show's impact on audiences and popular culture remains significant. In summary, while the revival of this show may have divided opinions, its original incarnation continues to be celebrated for its portrayal of working class life in America. Its lasting popularity speaks to its influence on the television industry and broader culture. In an early 1992 episode, Johnny Gelke portrayed Mark's younger brother, Kevin, on the show. Interestingly, his character underwent a name change later in the same season, becoming David. In the 16th episode of season 6, titled Everyone Comes to Jackie's Roseanne, during a heated discussion with Dan about David and Darlene living together in Chicago, reveals that David isn't even his real name. Darlene just made that up. This might explain the earlier use of the name Kevin and the later switch to David. However, this explanation raises questions when considering Mrs. Healy, David's mother, who openly disliked Darlene, and even referred to her as a whore in one episode. Mrs. Healy also called Johnny Galke's character David at one point, creating a puzzling inconsistency regarding the origin of the name. Sarah Gilbert reportedly reached out to Roseanne after her firing, but there was no response. Laurie Metcalf faced a similar situation, with no return calls. Meanwhile, Michael Fishman, who played a role in the series, took on a different role as a co-host on The Roseanne Show. These behind-the-scenes dynamics provide a glimpse into the interpersonal relationships among the cast members, marked by name changes and unanswered calls. In the TV series, the creator came up with the term domestic goddess to describe her character. There's an interesting tidbit from season two where a well-known actor from softcore movies appeared in one of the Dream Nightmare sequences. Also, one character initially had a different name, but got changed later due to a comment made by another character. The show was known for its unexpected twists and its ability to tackle various issues with humor. It's considered a classic by many and continues to be influential in TV history. It's fascinating to see how the creator's vision and storytelling style have left a lasting impact. There's a lot to appreciate about the show's blend of comedy and heartfelt moments. It's a reminder of the power of storytelling on television. Following the swift cancellation of the sitcom after her infamous tweet, John Goodman expressed surprise at the response, choosing not to delve further into the matter. Despite the setback, there's cautious optimism that the show could continue without its former star. Producers are set to pitch a revamped concept to Disney ABC executives, focusing on maintaining the essence of the praised first season of the revival while possibly shifting emphasis to other characters, particularly Darlene. Executive producers Tom Werner and Sarah Gilbert are spearheading efforts to keep the show alive post-cancellation, ensuring continuity for the cast and crew. 
Many have commented on her recent metamorphosis from a hippie socialist feminist in the 1980s to a Trump supporter in 2018 questioning what caused this change. When asked about her shift during a visit to Jimmy Kimmel's show, she rebutted, claiming she remained the same while Hollywood moved further left, alienating some of its former supporters. In the series, various actors took on roles closely associated with iconic comic book characters. Tobey Maguire portrayed Spider-Man in Columbia Pictures Marvel's superhero franchise, while George Clooney assumed the role of Batman in Warner Brothers' superhero franchise. Additionally, Ned Beatty played Lex Luthor's sidekick Otis in Warner Brothers' Superman franchise. Joseph Gordon-Levitt appeared as DJ's eccentric friend George, and also starred as Robin in The Dark Knight Rises, part of the Batman franchise. Milton Berle portrayed Lily the Lilac, and Dame Joan Collins took on the role of the Siren, both characters from Batman. John Goodman, when discussing his character, expressed that he would feel saddened because his wife is deceased in the spinoff. Episodes from the original nine-season run of the show have been removed from Hulu and Viacom-owned cable channels Paramount Network, TV Land, and CMT without comment from Viacom. A Hulu spokesperson stated, We support Abe's decision and are removing the show from Hulu. In the aftermath of recent events, the decision to terminate the show and dismiss its lead actor has stirred up considerable controversy. The executive producer stood firm behind the move, expressing support for the network's decision. In response, Netflix took advantage of the situation to promote its own family sitcom, highlighting its unique approach to addressing modern social issues. An interesting aspect of the new show is the inclusion of all three of the lead actor's ex-husbands, which adds depth to the storyline. In doing so, Netflix positioned itself strategically in contrast to the canceled show. The use of pronouns and clever storytelling techniques help maintain engagement and authenticity in the narrative. The 10th season of the TV series aired in 20,170,2018 with 9 episodes instead of the originally planned 8. The spin-off, The Connors, will feature a new theme song with a working class vibe, created by Antonio Bolivo from We Are Here Music, a company owned by Sarah Gilbert's wife Linda Perry. Bolivo's work on the soundtrack will maintain the original series' working class blues sound. In an interview with Hannity on Fox, Roseanne Barr discussed her shift from liberal to conservative views, citing her dissatisfaction with the Socialist Green Party's stance on Jewish causes. She now identifies as centrist, opposing extreme views on both ends of the political spectrum. Jerry Seinfeld, co-creator and star of the television phenomenon Seinfeld, commented on the firing of Roseanne Barr. He questioned the necessity of her termination and expressed confusion over why someone would murder someone who's committing suicide. Roseanne Barr herself addressed the issue in a YouTube video, explaining that she believed Valerie Jarrett was white when she made a controversial tweet. She also stated her support for Donald Trump as a reason behind her termination. In another development, during Alicia Gorenson's brief return to her role, Sarah Chalk made a cameo appearance in a Halloween episode, appearing at the front door with children trick or treating. When the show first began, the executive producer was Jeff Harris. Hence, probably not so coincidentally, Herb and Jackie's maiden name is Harris. In the new season, Darlene's daughter's name is also Harris. Producer Janet Lee's name also inspired Mark and David's last name, Healy. The theme song was instrumental for all, but the last season when it featured lyrics sung by John Popper of Blues Traveler. When the ladies of Abbas The View asked Valerie Jarrett about her views on a tweet made by her, she responded by saying, Roseanne who? She continued by stating that if someone said something like that about her, it might hurt her feelings. But she also insisted that this isn't what keeps her up at night. In all seriousness, she's fine. What keeps her up at night are those families being separated on the borders, not a racist tweet. She emphasized the issue of families being separated at the border and children worrying about safety at school. These are the things that keep her up at night, not a racist tweet.